Hello and welcome to my channel once again. My apologies, I couldn't up upload videos and you know, uh, do your tarot reading for the past four or five months. I wasn't well, I was going to multiple surgeries, guys. So I'm okay now. Um, I've healed. So now I'm back with your monthly videos. All right. So from this is for the month of November, and there's going to be one video instead of three like la earlier days. It's going to be one video which is going to cover all three aspects of your life. And this is for the star sign of Sagittarius. So you could be a Sag Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, or Venus. Also, guys, there are a lot of people who keep saying, oh, you, this story did not resonate with me. If it ever happens with me or any other tarot reader, if this ever happens, remember to check your other signs, that is your uh, moon, rising, Jupiter, or Venus, if you are checking by your sun sign, for instance. Or go to the other tarot readers, maybe somebody else has your story, or come back next month, because not every time every tarot reader will pick up your story. Somebody else could, the story could be for somebody else too, okay? Sagittarius, let's see what's coming towards you for the month of November. Let's see what's happening in November for my Sag. Oh, this is you, the Queen of Wands, the first card. Sagittarius, you're in your element. Let's see, let's see more. Ah, there you are. That's the typical Sag energy. Oh. Let's see at work and relationships. Ooh. Hmm. Saj, I see you are in your element. The courageous, smart, ambitious, go-getter kind of attitude. Your attitude is good. You know, with the Queen of Wands, you know how to do, what to do, when to do. So you're doing it. This all came from the past where I see the Queen, the Seven of Wands. So that means that there has been resistance in the past. People have been resisting to your way of your lifestyle. Maybe people uh, did not like the way you thought. People don't didn't like the way you took a decision or your way of life, well, you stood strong. You, you stood guard for your own thoughts and beliefs. You are not going to bend easily, are you? Because Sagittarians, you are not easily bended. You have a very positive mindset. Negative people don't usually influence you. So that is what I see here. Now, what is coming towards you, you have the Three of Pentacles. So a new job, a new opportunity, a new business opportunity. This is a new teamwork, a new team to work with. So Sagittarius, do what are you doing? Okay, continue doing what you're doing with the Queen of Wands energy because you're going to get that. That is coming towards you. Just be confident. Don't get put off by people and their thought processes because that is what takes a toll on your mind space. So don't let people take you down. You continue doing because you're going to find success here. You're going to find respect here. You're going to find new people, new team, new opportunities coming towards you, your way. Okay. Now, when it comes to work, look at this. You can understand. Your intuition is at its peak. You're very intuitive when it comes to work. You know exactly when to do, what to do and how to do. You know what time, who wants what. Maybe you, you understand better what your boss wants what your company wants, what you want as a freelancer, as a business person, as, as a, a career person, you know exactly what you need to do and you're doing it. You've made your choice. There could be a choice coming towards you. There is a new opportunity coming towards you and you can feel it. Trust your intuition. Career-wise, I see a very good month for you, Sagittarians. So trust your intuition. Something good is coming your way. Okay? Something good is coming your way. You have to make a choice. The choice will be on you. You want to take it. You want to wait for the other one. But definitely something new is coming your way. Okay, something lucrative, something good. When it comes to relationship, on the other hand, Sagittarius is not a very good month. Because I see there could be somebody who takes interest in you. 
who has interest but not yet ready for you so watches you kind of stalks you you can say there's a stalker kind of energy they have interest they they you kind of attract them but they're not yet opening up and also i see competition saaj somebody is fighting over you or some people are fighting over you there are a lot of people who want to take grab your attention or you could be uh attracted to at somebody and you are trying to find out more about that person and you might face competition there so this can go vice versa this could be somebody attracted towards you and finds competition around you because you are already uh, have a lot of friends and all they don't know how to go and approach you or it could be the other way around you could be attracted towards somebody and with the page of swords for some of you for some of you sagittarians this could be also a stalker somebody who loves to keep a tab on what you're doing whom you are with where do you go and what do you like so that they just just trying to know you to in order to know you they might not even realize they can become a bit creepy okay so just be careful of that so that's why i said don't wait for any relationships that's my sagittarians hold on not the time enjoy the attention of people around you because there'll be a lot of competition around you so just enjoy but don't make any decision because uh some people are sneaky around you so they will not be their true self so wait till they become their true self before you make any decision now what is not going to be good this month for you sagittarians firstly your responsibilities too many burdens on you too many responsibilities on you too many things that you have to handle so maybe it's too much of work too much of family liabilities responsibilities but they would be overbearing this month so just be mindful of that that uh, responsibilities will increase in the month of november so you have to you will be overworked also the five of pentacles is here so there could be some expenses uh, financial losses so this could be because of uh, you know anything in family or anything to do with you know, something happens in the family and you have to spend a lot of money but there would be a lot of expenses and a lot of responsibility so this month is going to be a bit busy month a bit tight month you cannot lavishly splurge on yourself this month you have to work towards earning the money and spending it on your liabilities and responsibilities maybe your mortgage bills are coming up maybe you your car needs maintenance maybe your house needs a makeover yeah christmas is coming you never know holiday season a lot of expenses so a lot of burdens can come on you okay sagittarians that's okay sag are strong willed people they can do it they can do it what you should be doing this month sagittarians you have the emperor bring some discipline bring authority make the decisions yourself and you have the knight of wands go ahead just move move towards the things that you want also knight of wands sagittarians you could have people again from your relationship coming towards you just for not anything mental you know what i mean not anything emotional they're just attracted towards you plain attracted towards you so just be careful just be careful of these fly by night kind of people and uh, make a wise decision pay attention to your responsibilities but yes with the emperor here authority is something that you need to bring back in your life and you need to bring some speed in your life move towards your new ambitions new goals new visions have your goals and visions very straight and focus on them this is the time this is this month is for your money growth your career growth so sagittarians pay attention to yourself and your money your responsibilities all that because relationships can take a bit of a back seat it's back seat this month don't worry we'll see it in the month of december when it's your birthday month so we'll see at that time but this time this month pay a lot of attention to your career perspective to your own self if if this can also mean makeover go for a makeover if you want to this is a good month for your makeover good month to make changes inside you okay so pay attention and a lot of responsibilities coming towards you sagittarians so wait for there's going to be some kind of paradigm shift around the end of 
November, some kind of paradigm shift. So be ready for it. Prepare yourself for it. Okay? So let's see. Three more cards from the Cartomancy. You have the two of pentacles. Multitasking, juggling, overworking. Okay? And also this is like the high priestess. So your gut feeling. Go by your gut feeling. Go by your knowledge. And you have the nine of swords. Yeah? Sleepless. And you have justice. Oh, you have the eight of spades. You have justice. So things are going to balance out. Okay. You are a bit worried because of these mental tensions. This is very clear here too. That you will have a lot of worries about the upcoming expenses, the responsibilities. Too much is expected out of you. But don't worry. Trust yourself. Trust your knowledge. That's why the High Priestess is here. Trust your knowledge. Don't share your plans a lot with others. Refrain from talking to others. Understand. Talk to yourself more. Sit quietly and try to understand what you want, where life is taking you, why these are happening, what can you do. And also the justice is here. So you're going to find victory and balance at the end of the day. You know how to come out of all these problems that could be coming. These problems, yeah, they could give you a bit worry. Initially, you could be unsure whether you're doing the right thing or you could have done things better. And But don't worry because ultimately you're going to be the winner. Things are going to be in your favor. If there are any court cases or if there are any litigations against you, you're going to be the winner. Things are going to be in your favor. So, all's going to end well. That's what I can say for Sagittarians. This month, all's going to end well. Nothing is going to kill you. You'll find a lot of victory and success in career front. So, pay attention to your money and money matters. This month, you're going to find success. Pay, don't pay much attention to relationship. Maybe we'll see it one day. Okay. All right. So Sagittarius, this was your monthly reading for the month of November. I'll see you back in the month of December. Till then, stay safe. Have a wonderful holiday season. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. And yes, I'm open to personal readings. If you want your birthday readings for the Sagittarius whose birthdays are coming up, or uh, if you want any other personal reading before the holiday season, feel free to find out the details in the description below or you can directly email me. All right, Sagittarians, have a wonderful month of November and I'll see you later. Bye.